If you've played Minecraft Bedrock Edition's new 1.19.71 update, and you use commands for map building or making minigames, you'll know the replace, destroy, and keep commands are all completely broken. And I've seen people everywhere looking for answers. So today I'm going to show you how to quote unquote fix the replace command and showing you how you can use methods to get your old machines running again. If you do enjoy the video or find it useful at all, make sure you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out more than most people realize. Now here I have set up what all the old commands used to look like for slash fill uh, replace, slash fill destroy, slash fill keep, and set block destroy, and set block replace. Now there are a lot of alterations that I'll show you. So here you can see the old command used to be uh, slash set block tilde 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 aka your coordinates air zero replace sand and it was a very simple command that it didn't take any time to learn now if we flick this lever you can see it gives us a syntax error as the entire command has been deleted from the minecraft files by mojang now uh i'll show you it's not just that it's with the uh set block destroy command as well you get a syntax error right here when we flick the lever uh, it tells us unexpected zero, that's because the entire command has changed, and I'll show you that in a minute. And it's also for slash fill right here. Go ahead and take a look, and we have the slash fill command completely correct with the replace sand. And you can see here, after flicking the lever, we get a syntax error once again saying unexpected zero. And same with the flat slash fill destroy command. Uh, syntax error after flicking the lever saying unexpected zero. Now, there is a way to get around this somewhat. I, I had to search for hours on the Minecraft wiki and everything, but it comes down to block states. The new command is slash set block, tilde tilde tilde, and then whatever block you want to fill with the block states, and then you put destroy. And there, the only issue is when you're destroying a block, you can't set it to destroy a specific block anymore, and you can't set it to replace a specific block anymore. How it works is off of block states, which is kind of broken right now with Mojang, and not all of the blocks have block states, and some of the ones that do, as you saw in the intro, like stone, don't actually have functioning block states. So, block states on Bedrock Edition have very few blocks that have functioning block states, meaning you have to get creative with shops, autogens, and replacing terrain is simply impossible. Now, what that means for us map builders is we're kind of screwed here. Any sort of, like, kind of world edit that you had with slash fill is now gone. So, that's impossible to do. So, I made a shop with these new updated commands. So, we have a weapons dealer here. Paid twenty dollars for a leather kit, and once we press the button, as you'll see here, we get a leather kit. And you wouldn't be able to do that with the old commands anymore; it would have completely broken this machine. So I'm so glad that I learned how to build it after the update. So how this works is advanced settings. You have a button that says leather kit that slash sets block to redstone block, which set block does work. You just can't destroy or replace, as you know. It sets that block to redstone. And then this one will set the block behind it to air. So it just quickly flicks the system on and then back off. It tests the uh, nearest player for money, the correct amount. And then once it sees that they do have that correct amount of money, like seen in here, and you can go ahead and take a look at the command and you know copy it down. Uh, once it sees that they do have the correct amount of money, uh, it will remove it from them. And then from there, it will slash clone this dropper underneath the command block it'll clone it to the middle front of the shop and ideally you want this whole system to be directly underneath the shop so no one can steal a uh, player's loot and slash set block uh ladder facing direction to destroy this is one of the, the only like five block states that actually work right now so that's what i had to use for the destroy command that's why it's a very hard way to work around and you don't want a ladder there and since you can't use air anymore to destroy blocks you're going to have to set the ladder afterwards to air which it sucks that you know it's, it's not simple anymore and they're completely changing the game but i think if we just give mo yang time and give them some time to fix their block states then this might be a great change for minecraft because sure it'll be more complicated but it, it it'll i guess give us more freedom 
and this command right here is just slash clear add a dropper and you'll see if we turn it off right here this is what happens whenever we buy a kit uh you need to go ahead and go to edit dialog and leather kit and we get a dropper in our inventory which we do not want uh so when i turn this back on you'll be able to see that we no longer have a, an annoying dropper just sitting in our inventory and that's really all the help i can give you guys with this i really wish i could say that all the commands are completely fixed and you know i i figured it all out but the unfortunate truth is that Mo Yang has completely broken destroy and replace so any maps you're building or game modes you're making are most likely going to have to be put on hold for the next good month or so until they finally release the hotfix anyways peace out and stay golden